हेलो हेलो सर मैं सपन कैसे हो बढ़िया सर आप कैसे हो मैं भी अच्छा हूँ और बताओ अच्छा सर मैं आज आपको फाइल सेंड करूंगा थोड़ी देर में ठीक वो है कर फिगमा दो वाले ना क्या हाँ हाँ तो सर सही उसमें से आप चूज कर लेना मतलब तीन चार फाइल है मेरे पास उसमें से आप अपने हिसाब से देख लेना और सर उसमें एक पोर्टफोलियो का भी है फिगमा फाइल तो उसको भी सर वो करोगे तो सर सही रहेगा सबका फिर पोर्टफोलियो भी बन जाएगा एक हाँ बनवाएंगे पहले और सारे प्रोविस बनाएंगे उसके बाद में पोर्टफोलियो वाला बनाएंगे हाँ सही है अभी कौन सा प्रोजेक्ट बना रहे हो तुम अभी सर ई कॉमर्स का ही है ना तो थोड़ा बैक एंड वगैरह का थोड़ा बाकी है और रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस का थोड़ा सा मतलब मतलब बना तो दिया है थोड़ा सा लेकिन श्योर नहीं हो कि वो डिजाइन सही है या नहीं है क्योंकि आपको पता है वो उसका मोबाइल वर्जन नहीं था मेरे पास एक बार मैं आपको दिखाऊंगा थोड़ी देर में ठीक है मतलब अगर दिख रहा है सही चल रहा है तो ठीक है अगर कुछ सही से नहीं दिख रहा है तो दिक्कत है इसका मतलब दिख रहा है ओवर फ्लो वगैरह कुछ नहीं हो रहा है फिर भी डिजाइन बहुत अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है डिजाइन मतलब ठीक है क्योंकि अभी मोबाइल का तो डिजाइन है नहीं मेरे पास तो अपने हिसाब से ही बनाया उसको मैं हाँ तो सही है कैसा भी है दिखाना अगर कोई सजेशन होगा तो मैं दे दूंगा हाँ ऐसे इम्प्रूव कर सकते हो हाँ सर और अभी फोन से ज्वाइन किया हो थोड़ी देर में मैं आपको लैपटॉप से दिखाता हूँ ठीक है और तुम्हारा कॉलेज कब कंप्लीट होगा कॉलेज कॉलेज तो नहीं फिर जाता मैं अच्छा तुम कॉलेज नहीं जाते हो तुम अभी क्या पढ़ रहे हो नहीं जाता अभी कोई कोचिंग हो गया फॉर्म मेरा ग्रेजुएशन लास्ट ईयर अच्छा क्या किया था बीसीए किया था नहीं सर मेरा बैचलर ऑफ आर्ट था अच्छा और कब कंप्लीट हुआ है तुम्हारे लास्ट ईयर हुआ है किस मंथ मई में अच्छा मई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मतलब एक साल हो गया ग्रेजुएशन को हाँ सर एक साल हो गया अच्छा और तुमने कोई कोचिंग ज्वाइन की थी डेवलपमेंट के लिए हाँ कोचिंग ज्वाइन किया था मैं तो वो खत्म हो गई अभी अप्रैल महीने में अभी उसका ही प्रोजेक्ट्स बना रहा हूँ ये ई कॉमर्स वाला ऑफलाइन तो थी ऑनलाइन थी ऑनलाइन थी सर मैं जिस टाइम चालू किया ना कोर्स मतलब मैं अगस्त या सितंबर इसी महीने में स्टार्ट किया था मैं लास्ट ईयर तो आपने भी उसी टाइम पे यूट्यूब चैनल खोला था लेकिन मेरे को पता नहीं था तुम्हें कब मिला था चैनल आ, याद नहीं है लेकिन आ, उस टाइम पे कुछ बीस तीस लोग थे टेलीग्राम पे बीस तीस क्या बीस तीस आ, लोग मेंबर्स थे थे टेलीग्राम ग्रुप में अच्छा ठीक है वो तो याद नहीं है लेकिन उस टाइम पे कौन सी वीडियोस आ रही थी जब तुम्हें मिला था सी एस एस आ रहा था जावा स्क्रिप्ट शुरू था जावा स्क्रिप्ट का जावा स्क्रिप्ट का थोड़ा सा चालू हो गया था अच्छा सही है अभी यहाँ पे रिडक्स बाकी है रिडक्स कंप्लीट कर देंगे तो फ्रंट एंड का लगभग सब कुछ कंप्लीट हो जाएगा सर मेरे को रिडक्स तो समझ में आ गया लेकिन सर जो रिडक्स टूल किट है ना उस वो नाइन्टी परसेंट समझ में आ गया लेकिन टेन परसेंट कुछ चीजें जो है क्लियर नहीं हुई अभी मेरे ठीक है देखेंगे उसको भी रिडक्स टूल किट को भी देखेंगे वैसे सर रिडक्स जो है थोड़ा सा बड़ा है टूल किट जो है तो रिडक्स से छोटा ही है तो वो जल्दी हो जाएगा हम्म दोनों पढ़ेंगे हम लोग हाँ सर और सर फिर इसके बाद में फिर क्या आएगा अभी मतलब ये रिडक्स के बाद रिडक्स के बाद थोड़े बड़े बड़े प्रोजेक्ट्स आएंगे जैसे तुम फिगमा शेयर करोगे हाँ उस टाइप के बड़े बड़े प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाएंगे और हाँ सर थोड़ा सा वैसे 
इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन टाइप में वीडियोस बनाएंगे ये साल बैक एंड या नोट जेस नहीं पढ़ाएंगे अच्छा नेक्स्ट जेस पढ़ाना है नेक्स्ट जेस पढ़ाएंगे कर लेना सर नेक्स्ट जेस अभी बैक एंड तो ठीक है आपका बोल रहे हो कि थोड़ा सा समय लगेगा नेक्स्ट जेस तो आपको आता ही है वैसे हाँ नेक्स्ट जेस करेंगे नेक्स्ट जेस कर लेंगे अक्टूबर के महीने में नेक्स्ट जेस पढ़ा देंगे और नेक्स्ट जेस में एक महीना लगेगा ज्यादा नहीं लगेगा और बीस पच्चीस वीडियोज में हो जाएगा नेक्स्ट जेस मुझे लगता है और कम और कम में हो सकता है नेक्स्ट तो मैं देखा सर तो ठीक ठाक है मतलब थोड़ा सा ही है वो ज्यादा कुछ तो है नहीं उसमें डिफरेंस रिएक्ट आता है तो ज्यादा कुछ नहीं है उसमें सिंपल ही है नेक्स्ट जेस एक रहेगा जो कि एक अलग से सीरीज रहेगा बाकी मेनली प्रोजेक्ट्स ही रहेंगे और नेक्स्ट ईयर सोचते हैं नोट जेस देखो बहुत ही पक्का नहीं है कि नोट जेस में मैंने काम नहीं किया है मैंने काम नहीं किया मतलब मैंने ऑफिस में काम नहीं किया पर्सनल लेवल पे मैंने किया है काम फ्रीलांसिंग भी की है नोट जेस में तो जब ऑफिस में किसी भी टेक्नोलॉजी पे काम करो तो उसमें ज्यादा वो अच्छे से समझ आती है ज्यादा पकड़ बन जाती है तो नोट जेस ऐसा नहीं है कि पढ़ा नहीं सकता बिना ऑफिस में काम के पढ़ेंगे पढ़ाएंगे मतलब इनफ प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाने थोड़ा बहुत नोट जेस को अच्छे से एक्सप्लोर करना पड़ेगा तो नेक्स्ट ईयर में करते हैं नोट जेस वैसे सर बैक एंड जो है ना उतना भी हार्ड नहीं है रिएक्ट से मतलब कम चीजें उसके अंदर जैसे कि राव ये क्या बोलते हैं एपीआई वगैरह बनाना और मोंगो डीपी मतलब डेटाबेस से कनेक्टिंग करना यही कुछ है बस और सिंपल ही है ना फ्रंट एंड से थोड़ा इजी है हाँ इजी बोल सकते हो बस ये है कि आ, थोड़ा सा डीएस से पढ़ना पड़ेगा अगर बैक एंड बैक एंड डेवलपर अगर बनना है तो थोड़ा सा वो अलग अलग चीज होती है अगर तुम्हें केवल एपीआई से बनानी है कुछ एंड पॉइंट से बनानी है कुछ रीड राइट का डॉपरेशन ही करना है तो बैक एंड इजी है लेकिन केवल उतना ही नहीं होता है किसी भी वेबसाइट में बहुत ही ज्यादा कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी होती है डेटा को एक दूसरे से रिलेट करना होता है तो उस चीज में थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है तो उसमें ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम डेटाबेस ये सब कुछ बढ़िया से आना चाहिए तो उसकी अलग कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी है फ्रंट एंड में ज्यादातर यू की कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी रहती है यू आई अपने आप में कॉम्प्लेक्स रहता है और सी एस एस बहुत ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट रहता है बहुत लोग के लिए सर जी स्टार्टिंग में मेरे को ये रिस्पॉन्सिव नर्स वगैरह बहुत दिमाग खराब होता था मेरा मतलब वैसा लगता था कि कैसे करूँ क्या करूँ फिर धीरे धीरे प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाया मैं फिर बाद में समझते गया मैं कि रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस कैसे बनता है क्या मतलब किसको मतलब देखना चाहिए ऐसा मतलब नहीं क्या बना के ही प्रोजेक्ट बना बना के ही मैं सीख गया मैं बना के ही आएगा ज्यादा लेक्चर देखने से बहुत ज्यादा कुछ नहीं हो जाता है लेक्चर बस कुछ लेक्चर देख लो एक दो लेक्चर रोज बाकी सब खुद से ही बना अभी सर मैं दो प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाए हूँ जो कि एच टी एम एल सी एस एस से वो सर वो सर बस मैं देख के बनाए हूँ मतलब थोड़ा सा आइडिया लेने के लिए सही है और इंग्लिश चैनल्स भी देखते हो इंग्लिश यूट्यूबर्स को फॉलो करते हो नहीं सर ऐसे वैसे मैं इंग्लिश के लिए अभी कोई वीडियो नहीं देखता बस इंग्लिश के लिए नहीं बोल रहा हूँ इंग्लिश के लिए नहीं जैसे वेब डेवलपमेंट में इंग्लिश वाले डेवलपर्स को देखते हो इंग्लिश वाले यूट्यूबर्स को नहीं सर लेकिन जो कुछ सास वगैरह में है ना सॉफ्टवेयर सर्विसेस वगैरह या फिर कोई इंटरप्रीनोर का कोई कुछ हो गया वीडियो इंग्लिश में तो वैसे देख लेता हूँ मैं हाँ अच्छा सही है और यहाँ पे नए भाई आ गए और भाई बताओ तुम्हारा क्या नाम है कैसे पढ़ेंगे तुम्हारे नाम को आ, मेरा नाम यही है मैं लिवापुर मैं इंग्लैंड से हूँ अच्छा इंग्लैंड से हो कब से इंग्लैंड मेरा जन्म ही इंग्लैंड में अरे यार तो हिंदी तुम्हारे पेरेंट्स कहाँ से हैं तो मेरे पेरेंट्स बांग्लादेश से अच्छा सही है तो But, you know, तो मैं तो छोटे से हिंदी फिल्म देखता ना तो इसलिए मेरा हिंदी आता है थोड़ा हिंदी थोड़ा बहुत अच्छा है थोड़ा नहीं बहुत अच्छा आता है 
सर इनसे तो इंग्लिश सीखना पड़ेगा फिर हाँ देखो सब लोग बोलते थे इंग्लिश कहा से सीखे इंग्लैंड का बंदा बैठा है इधर मेरा इंग्लिश है ना मेरा इंग्लिश क्वीन इंग्लिश नहीं है मेरा इंग्लिश वो 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 लिवरपूल एक्सेंट है सो यू नो लाइक वो जब मैं इंग्लिश मैं इंग्लिश जब बोलूंगा ना तुमको नहीं समझ आएगा समझ रहा हूँ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू स्टार्ट टॉकिंग इन इंग्लिश नाउ इफ यू जस्ट स्पीक योर एक्सेंट लेट मी थिंक लेट मी से हाउ मच कैन आई अंडरस्टैंड I didn't understand what we are going to study today. I think you are saying yeah. this. Yeah. What are we going to study today, right? <laughs> yes. हाँ 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 सही है मतलब काम करता हूँ तो British लोगों के साथ तो थोड़ा बहुत है मेरा और सही है मतलब वही नहीं कोई भी अगर हाँ चलो तुम बताओ अपना थोड़ा No, I I I've been following you for a long time. Um, you know on youtube and i'd been in your group for a long time but i could not always join um aapko group ko main nahi join kar sakta hu sab sabse because time difference hai na so uh-huh. time difference hai mera thoda hai abhi hamare england mein abhi lunch time eh lunch time nahi hai oh eh afternoon hai ha abhi wahan pe 2 2 ya 3 baj raha hoga hai na 2 3 o'clock या चार हो जा रहा है अच्छा चार बजे फोर क्लॉक अच्छा सही है सो सिंस आर यू फॉलोइंग माय चैनल आई थिंक आई वाज लाइक सिंस एम जब एम 100 आपका टेलीग्राम में ग्रुप 100 था अच्छा वो पहले 100 में मैं मैं ज्वाइन किया था अच्छा सही है सो क्या चीजें क्या-क्या चीजें तुमने सीखी मेरे से So I, I've been um, following, um, you know, your JavaScript and a little bit of your React. So my my background, I made a bootcamp bootcamp here in England. Me, um, as full stack bootcamp. Um, we all the front end, back end, all the all that. We sixty weeks me here. And um, and now I'm still a job seeker. So um, your group, say, you know, like. Um, वो 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 जल्दी जल्दी से जल्दी है एम टॉपिक्स कवर करते थे सो इसलिए थोड़ा स्ट्रगलिंग किया था सो आपका वीडियो देख के बहुत कुछ समझ आया अच्छा कब तुमने पूरा देखा है या आधा ऐसा कितना देखा है तो जब मैं मैं पूरा नहीं देखा जस्ट जिस टॉपिक्स में ऐसा हुआ था उस उस में देखता था सही फॉलो योर प्रोजेक्ट्स वेल सो थिंक इट द फ्लैग वन ओके कंट्रीज एपीआई वेरी गुड थैंक्स थैंक्स Okay, that's awesome. Like it's great to know that you are from England and following my tutorial. Oh, uh, you know, definitely. I am. Um, you know, like in, in the UK, the, um, the the level of teaching, especially from um, in in technical like IT, so like JavaScript, React, um. you know they're not very they're not very practical they're very just you know very theory and very simple um explanations you know your explanations in in both hindi and english are very very deep very very good yeah, thanks isliye mai hindi mein sab hindi mein sab kuch seekhne se english mein understand hota hai wala acha sa fine अच्छा ऑटोमेटिक रिकमेंड किया था तुम्हें यूट्यूब ने कि कैसे किसी और फ्रेंड ने नो नो सो आई 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 लुक फॉर हिंदी ट्यूटोरियल्स तो मैं जब सर्च करता हूँ ना मैं सब सर्च करता हूँ हिंदी ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड आई थिंक योर वीडियो केम अप क्वाइट अ फ्यू टाइम्स ओके पहले से जानते हो इनको 
नहीं नहीं कभी नहीं अभी पहली बार मैं बात कर रहा हूँ <laughs> एक बार और आपने संडे मेरा बिजी टाइम टेबल है थोड़ा थोड़ा मैं एम, जब एम, you know, like sometimes I miss it. Today I was like I've been online since you know two o'clock, just seeing what time you post for link. Um, okay. <laughs> so I wish I can catch up. Hopefully I'll try and come a lot more. Yeah, that's nice. So, what is your uh, education like? What are you doing right now in your? Is it graduation or something? So I I used to work in IT um as a IT technical trainer so I used to do like you know like when developers develop software I used to do training on software on the releases um and then I decided to move into development so you see me I've been already uh, working in this uh, IT field I have been for a long time but I quit my job 12 months ago to learn Uh, software development. So, what's your so age? So, I'll be, I'll be. Uh, uh, my age is thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yes. And uh, what is my age? Do you know? Mm, no, I, I think you're in your twenties. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Twenty-six. <laughs> you think you're twenty-six? Uh, I thought a lot, a lot younger. No, I am twenty-six. So yeah, you you were saying something. You have quit your job, and in order to get the development job, right? So I I I am. The UK is like um, in the UK. There's a very big push for developers now, um, especially for React and front-end developers. Um, full stack. You for to become full stack, you need experience. Well, first step is either front end or back end. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I go to a lot of conferences, mm-hmm. and um, the job market um, in the UK, in particular, is uh, front end React, very popular. Mm-hmm. Um, so hopefully, I'm trying to land a junior job mm-hmm. as a front end developer. So, where do you stay in UK, like particularly? I'm in. I'm in Liverpool. Uh, where? L- Liverpool. Uh, what is the spelling? L I V. L I V. E R. E R. E double O L. Okay, Liverpool, UK. Got it. You know Liverpool so, Football Club. Question, please. Not that in go. Yes, go bro. Is for question, please. No. भाई जैसे मेरे को अगर ब्रिटिश एक्सेंस सीखना रहेगा तो इसको कितना समय लगेगा एम आई डोंट थिंक इट्स गोइंग टेक यू लॉन्ग जस्ट यू नो गुड गुड वे टू लर्न इंग्लिश इंग्लिश इज एम वॉच इंग्लिश ड्रामा या दैट्स करेक्ट सो व्हाई डू यू वांट टू लर्न ब्रिटिश एक्सेंट सपना सर थोड़ा सही लगता है सर ब्रिटिश या फिर अमेरिकन जो भी है कोई भी अमेरिकन इंग्लिश इज बेटर आई लाइक अमेरिकन एक्सेंट दैट इज मोर क्लियर यस अमेरिकन इंग्लिश यू बिकम मोर पॉपुलर इन इंग्लैंड बट इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव या या बिकॉज लाइक यू नो माई एक्सेंट या इन इंग्लिश इट्स लाइक it's like it's a bit of a dialect problem so when i when i say like like for example the word back b a c k okay like in my accent it's so people find it difficult especially english in in the uk oh, in your accent uh, the the voice didn't come in your accent how it will be pronounced back 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 
Is it British or yeah. what? No, this is this is this is called Liverpool Scouts. Okay, okay. So you uh, you are telling your your like in wherever you are living in that local area, back is pronounced like back, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But but now, so as I was saying, if I had American English. Hmm. It doesn't matter which part of the country I am from. American English, they'd be like, "Oh, you from America?" They wouldn't even question, oh. "Am I from a different country?" <laughs> they wouldn't even question, "Are you from UK?" That's the same. So, American English is a very more popular than. Yeah, I, I also like. Uh, I was practicing American English, and uh, I was able to speak American English a little bit, not fully, but. Uh, uh, when I met my wife, she told, "What are you just making? Just be natural and be Indian. It doesn't suit on your, on your, like no. on your face. It looks like the audio and skin color is not matching. It will not look good." So then I I, I stopped and I started speaking in Indian English. Indian accent only, and but I, I think I, I do. Think, but everywhere in like I think all over the um, you know the, the the business world, I think it's either American English or mm. Queen's English. Queen's, Queen's English in, is Queen's like, English means Queen's English is like you know how the royal family speak. Okay. So like they pronounce every single letter correctly they don't use any slang okay it's like hell you know like very very polite english mm. okay that's that's good and i understand both uh, but i am very comfortable understanding american english even yes more than i would say indian english i, I will understand american because that is very clear yeah, yeah. I, I prefer American English. Uh, same, like I also prefer American English, but I understand both. And my company, current company, is from UK. And uh, let me check if where is its headquarter. Mm. Oh, you work for a um, um, UK company? Yes, yes. My current company is based in UK. Deals plus. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Oh, I think accent doesn't matter to have a conversation. Yeah, accent doesn't matter. No. If you like, yeah. all the like I've seen, like French people will have different accents, Spanish people will have different mm -hmm. accent, and Japanese will have different accent. If you are clear, whatever you are saying, everybody will accept mm -hmm. uh, your accent, and they don't judge on your based on your accent. If your message is clear. And you are doing your job. It's yeah. fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. I think our pronounce should, pronunciation should be clear. Yeah, pronunciation should be clear. You cannot pronounce something like differently. Yeah, uh, I hear uh, you are saying something. Sorry, uh, is this Swapnil? Swapnil? Yes. Yeah, it's correct. Swapnil. Huh. You correct. Uh, wait. So. You know when you said, "Are you learning English at the moment, or uh, are you learning English bolle? right now? Are you English? English? Are you secret? learning English at the moment? Uh, uh, not learning, but I know little bit. I'm at intermediate level. That's very good. Yeah, just um, watch American drama, English drama. Um, yeah. you pick, you'll pick the language up very quickly. Yeah, actually, I understand 80% uh, and 20% I don't understand because they use uh, short words sometimes. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in English, in uh, um, Liverpool accent, and I think another one is like Newcastle accent and Scottish accent, those three accents in the whole of the UK, English people don't understand. Okay, Liverpool accent, <laughs> English people will also not, British people will also not understand. 
Yeah, they, they know that they, as soon as they hear your accent, they'll go, oh, you're from Liverpool. Mm-hmm. Like, can you speak a little bit, like, <laughs> like slowly yeah. and <laughs> pronounce <laughs> your word? We also be the same dynamic <laughs> as, as people from, like, you know, other countries. Yeah. You know, it's quite funny as well, because, uh, but, you know, it's, it's all good. Yeah, but right now that you are speaking, I think you are speaking it clearly just for us to understand, right? You are not speaking in your your local accent, is it? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yes, I tone it down, yeah. Mm-hmm. And there is the first sentence you, you, you told so- <laughs> that was completely in your accent. What are we going to study today? Something like that, yes. Yeah. So you know your how long have you worked in the UK then? Are you from are you you're not from the UK? You're not living in the UK. Um, I'm in India right now. And I'm from India. And okay. I've been working for Indian company from last two years. And from last two, three months I'm working for a UK based company. Nice. So it is completely remote. Even they don't have office in the UK itself. They're remote. You don't have office. So, Amazing. Yeah. And yeah. Tell like. Tell more like about UK. How is it? And. You know it's um, it's it's okay. It's um it's a bit, it's very hot at the moment. September, you, you, have you heard of something called British weather? Which weather? So, British weather, we have four seasons in one day. No, I don't know. How is it? So, we have, so they have four seasons. So, you have rain, snow, <laughs> wind, and, um, and sun all in one day. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's that is typical British weather. So, is it uh, throughout the year or uh, during some some part of the year? Throughout the year, like today, hmm. today, the weather was like I think like twenty three, twenty four degrees in the morning. Hmm. Now it's windy. <laughs> now it's windy, no sun, and hmm. it looks like it's gonna thunderstorm. Okay. And it's only it's only been twelve hours. So in twelve hours we had three seasons. Sounds like an adventure. <laughs> it's yeah, it will be an adventure if you go for the first time. If you are living there for uh, thirty-five years, it will be normal, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. There. So where where is everybody else from? Uh, like Sapna is from Maharashtra, Maharashtra India. Maharashtra. Yeah. Aman is from Bihar, uh, right? Aman. No, 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 no. Uttar Pradesh, Varanasi. Acha, Varanasi is here. And Amit, where are you from? Amit, तुम बताओ कहाँ से हो? Amit भी UP से है सर, या Bihar से, Bihar से है सर. So everyone is from India here. Bihar से. बिहार में बिहार में कहाँ से आरा हाँ सो अमित इस फ्रॉम बिहार महाराष्ट्र हाँ हाँ गॉट इट सो एंड आई एम फ्रॉम यूपी हैव यू एवर बीन टू इंडिया नो नो सो आई बीन से बांग्लादेश ओके माय पेरेंट्स बट आई एम इट्स ऑन माय टू लिस्ट Yeah, are you planning to come in future somewhere? Uh, I'm hoping to. Um, I just need to. Uh, as soon as I get my remote job, oh. I'm gonna travel. Okay, that's good. And I would say the weather of Bangalore is the best weather in the world. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah. In India, uh, in northern parts where where I am from. Where I was born, there it is like in winters. It is extreme winters, 
extreme means it is not freezing water will not freeze but 5 6 uh, like that the temperature can go like around 5 in the winters and in the summers temperature can go up to 45 something like that above 40 it is normal so, so there in north it is very hot and very cold in summers and winters but here in bangalore the weather is constant throughout the year i've been here uh, i've been living in bangalore uh, from last 2.5 years and the weather is always between if it will go then it will go as low as 18 or 20 at max i've seen 18 like at least like the least temperature i've seen 18 and maximum will go till 35 or 36 something like that so it is yeah. always yeah, always in the very good condition i i wear half t-shirt and half pant throughout the year like i don't need sweaters and i don't need and do you call it sweatshirt sweatshirts or sweater how do you pronounce sweater we say jumba jumba <laughs> okay so i don't uh, need See, any of this in the sweatshirt. sweatshirt is like proper um uh, queen english okay and so sweater sweater we call something which keeps us warm and like prevents us from the winter cold so those clothes we don't need in bangalore and it is neither very hot so it's very good we permanently need an umbrella permanently we need an umbrella in bangalore or your uh, uk your in in uk permanently umbrella because okay. you don't know which day is going to it but it will rain in bangalore also when rain starts it will be raining like a lot but it is not like that like like uk because it can rain anytime here it is like seasonal whenever it will rain it will rain otherwise no rain but here also it rains a lot whenever it rains it rains a lot yeah, nice. Aman, you tell me what's going on. Nothing, sir. Just studying is going on. Okay. Did you have an internship? Okay, you didn't have an internship. Sir, I had a call for the call, internship. I mean, I had a call for the internship. I mean, I had a call for the internship. I mean, I had a call for the old profile. I had a call for the old profile. So, I had a call for the old profile. But... मेरा कंप्लीट ही नहीं हुआ अभी तो मैंने छोड़ दिया मैंने कहा जाने दीजिए अभी क्या कंप्लीट नहीं हुआ अभी रिएक्ट पूरा कंप्लीट नहीं हुआ है प्लस वो थोड़ा सा बैकएंड पे भी बोल रहे थे कि थोड़ा कमांड होना चाहिए तो मैंने कहा नहीं बैकएंड पे तो नहीं कर दिया ठीक है कंप्लीट करो रिएक्ट अभी आएंगे और भी कॉल्स आएंगे सही है बस तो सपनेल वांटेड टू से समथिंग हाँ सर मैं इनको बोल रहा था कि आप टेलीग्राम पे हो क्या क्योंकि अगर हमको कुछ पूछना रहेगा इंग्लिश के बारे में तो पूछेंगे तो सही रहेगा हिंदी भी आती है इंग्लिश भी आती है मस्त सही रहेगा वैसे हम परेशान नहीं करेंगे आपको डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ओह नो यू मोर वेलकम टू नो 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 जस्ट एंड मोर द आप इसमें चैट बॉक्स में आपका वो हैंडल डाल दो टेलीग्राम का। I yeah my handle is aj I think I'm just one minute I'll just connect to my phone। काफी सही रहेगा सर अभी है ना अगर हमको कुछ अगर doubt होते हैं। And aj aj will be good name for you right? Yeah aj हाँ that is my handle। so uh like are you re learning react also right now or uh, just javascript yeah yeah react, react and react native i'm okay with a react you know in terms of the concept i just need to make more projects i give you my handle um i've just sent it on telegram now 
Okay. Just hi everyone. I think it's um, I put it in the general. Yeah, okay. we got your message. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so what I would suggest you, like you uh, right now you are learning development. So what you can do is you can find some students from the group itself, from the ProCoder group itself or anywhere you can find some students who are just starting to learn JavaScript or know like little less JavaScript than you. So what you can do is you can explain the concepts to them. Like, for example, what is the scope you have studied, right? What is the scope in JavaScript? So you can explain it. So whenever you are going to explain something, you will have to understand it in depth. Only then you will understand. So it, okay. what this will do is whenever you teach someone, you are uh, indirectly uh, practicing for interview. You are preparing for interview because in interview also, you need to explain it to the interviewer. But uh, whenever you are teaching something, you are teaching, uh, you are explaining the same thing to a student. So that's the only difference. So that explaining, explaining part will not uh, be a problem when you start explaining to someone. So, so this thing you can do. Uh, it will be Thank you. Do you like like uh, teaching? Do you teach anything? I, I I used to teach in the in the UK in colleges and schools. Okay, in college and in schools you used to teach. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I um, so and then um, like I said I I moved away from and then I moved into training so I did like a lot of um a lot of um software training um. So I worked for um, on facial recognition software for the UK police force, and then for um, a few other like big big companies. But you know the um, it wasn't very challenging. You know, it was more like um, e com e sorry um, e learning design and CMS systems and stuff like that. Not very um, technical. Mm -hmm. um in programming or anything yeah it's and that it's, was it's basically basically like that, using using software right using software yeah yeah and not creating the software yeah. so because i worked with developers i i i enjoyed you know learning from them and then um, slowly slowly i decided you know what this is the field i need to go into so yeah. And so, which subject you used to teach, you used to teach whenever you you were teaching? So it was, it was like uh, IT, you know, basic IT um, at college level. Um, so you know, a little bit of programming, a little bit of um, uh, HTML, CSS. I've done like the basics mm. um, at college level, and then um, and then I moved into you know the the training side of stuff. Okay. The UK is very um, yes, yes. Like yes. in the UK, we don't teach you like um, at university or degree level. They won't teach you um, like languages. They'll mm -hmm. teach you like concepts of like programming. But you know, like um, if you want to learn React or you want to learn something like HTML, CSS. You know, in especially in college or school level, you have you, you know they have basic IT subjects. They don't have very technical IT subjects. It is same, I think, everywhere. No, no college levels in India. In India, you can tell like no college levels have this uh, JavaScript or React. Like JavaScript is there in some syllabuses, but it is all old JavaScript. Okay. Yeah, it is there. If you do BC, BCA and from for some colleges i've seen the syllabus has javascript css but those you know, javascripts are old like uh, for from 2010 and 5 those are javascript javascript has been evolved uh, a lot since then so but still 
Yeah, if you want to react, no yeah. course is going to teach. No college is going to teach that. You have to learn from some boot camp or some online courses only. So, what you have done your transition? Huh? Information systems. Yeah, like information systems, it is there in the computer science fields. Uh, computer science uh, colleges are it is there and i cannot tell much about that because i have not done my graduation i have done only till high school so you like completely self-taught yeah completely self-taught after high school i didn't go to that's school that's amazing yeah thanks so everything I have learned from YouTube, YouTube and Udemy, that's it. Udemy, you know? Yeah, I think, I think you're, you're, but I, you know, I looked at very a lot of um, a lot of um, courses online and a lot of YouTube videos, uh, a lot of Hindi YouTube videos as well, um, and I think your one stands out the most in terms of concepts, um, like, like. I don't understand Hindi that well, you know, like, um, but, you know, like, you know, the way you explain the concepts, um, it makes it a little bit more easier, you know, to grasp what's actually going on. That's why um, I follow, you know, when I, when I forget something, I always go to your videos to see where did you cover it, just to make notes of it. Yeah, so you understand my Hindi in the videos? Oh. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, and you speak uh, very well in Hindi. Like, there's no problem when you speak Hindi. But you said uh, you know, to be honest, I I never get any chance to practice it because it's what I know is just from what I watch on TV. Oh. You know, like Hindi dramas or movies. I say saying that I haven't watched any Hindi movies for a long time. But um, Main, but yes, Hindi you know. chance to not इंग्लैंड से बात कर रहे बोला तो लगा नहीं की इंग्लैंड वाले मतलब एक्सेंट भी इंडियन लग रहा है इंडियन बंगाली सब वैसे ही नॉर्मल लग रहा है लग रहा है जब ब्रिटिश लोग बोलते हैं हिंदी तो बहुत ही खराब बोलते हैं जो अंग्रेज लोग होते हैं इनकी काफी अच्छी है वही हाँ। सही है सही तो पकड़ लो एक दो बच्चों को और सिखाया करो हमने ऑलरेडी सिखाया पढ़ा है तो ऑलरेडी पढ़ाने का एक्सपीरियंस है और एक दो बच्चों को ले लो और उन्हें पढ़ाओ बताओ कि ऐसे होता है वैसे होता है no, और कोई डाउट डाउट रहता है अभी कोई डाउट है या नहीं रहता है डाउट सो यू नो एम लाइक माय डाउट इज लाइक यू नो लाइक लाइक गेटिंग स्टार्टिंग विद प्रोजेक्ट्स like you know like um so i went to um uh, a uk conference you know to um to to get looking for jobs you know you go to meet do networking with employers and senior early um uh, engineering managers and what what sabhi bolte hai na um to jab project kar lo na project mein tum um commercial commercial value project karo jis jis tarah um job mein um तुमको जॉब में थोड़ा एक्सपीरियंस होगा सो लाइक लाइक बिल्ड अ फीट लाइक आई वेंट टू वन इंटरव्यू इट वाज फॉर एंगुलर डेवलपर आई गोट टू द सेकंड स्टेज एंड द फर्स्ट स्टेज वाज जस्ट लाइक जनरल व्हाट व्हाट हैव यू डन हाउ व्हाट हैव यू लर्न्ड व्हाट डू यू नो डू यू हैव डू यू हैव अ गिटहब रिपोजिटरी तुम्हारे पास ऑनलाइन प्रोजेक्ट्स है वगैरह वगैरह ये सब कुछ बाद में वो वन टू वन इंटरव्यू में एम दे गिव मी लाइक अ सिनारियो वन सिनारियो वॉज एम 
they gave me a scenario and said, how would you build this user interface for this particular uh, um, feature? Um, you know, what kind of um, validation would you use? Uh, what kind of user input would you use? So design this UI on this board, you know? Um, wow. And it was all about like creating dashboards. So I'd be, Joe, you know, are, are you working as front-end developer? Or yes, yes. I mainly work as a front-end developer, but I have worked in back-end also as, as a Node.js developer. But most of my experience is in front-end only. So, like, what, 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 like, you know, as a front-end developer, what kind of, like, features do you have to build for, you know, like, for in a typical sprint or typical job task? So, typical job task, I would say that the application will already be there. There will be some new features that we will have to add to the existing application, some new features. So, for example, uh, in my current company, they they have one system like a folder. Okay, so uh, one second, I will share my screen and I will show you. So, I will I will not show my company code, but something similar to we have in the file system. So in the application in my company's application, we have uh, something like. Uh, file we can upload files there we can f create new folders something like that so one second so for example uh, in windows it shows that uh, like right now if i open this uh, let's say learning folder and if i go to namaste js folder so right now here it is showing only the current folder name it is mac but in Windows, it shows the path like under which file, under which folder you are right now. So it shows like okay. that. So directory. Yeah, directory. So uh, for example, right now we had uh, like uh, I was given to add uh, that feature. Uh, for example, previously uh, that file system was something similar to this. Only the folder name was coming. So I had to implement uh, that file, like it should show the file URL from where it is coming. And user, user should be able to click uh, back and user should be able to go back. So those kinds of folder I have implement, uh, features I have implemented. And then uh, I have implemented uh, like forget password. Uh, uh, currently like, when I joined my company, there was no forget password option in the application. So I have added that. So for that, API will be provided. API will be created by the backend developers. Okay. And we have to call the API. We have to create the UI for uh, that particular thing. And then we need to implement it. So which kind of scenario you were given to uh, like in your interview, uh, I'm just just connecting on my phone. One minute, uh, sorry, on my um, computer. Okay, okay, sure. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so it was more like um, so this company that I went for interview with, they design um. They work for large banks, and in the in the banks they have um, they have tape drives um, for storing data, and okay. th this company recycles the this um, this um, tape drives and mobile phones and laptops and you know all digital devices. So this company, what they do is they wipe the data off the drives, off the laptops, everything else. And then they put it back into circulation. So they, they <clears throat> their software that they created um, used to manage inventory assets. 
So mm. they said, now build, so the scenario they gave me was, can you build a, um, build a user interface for dispatching a phone to a new client? What kind of fields would be in the UI? How would you validate the inputs? Um, what kind of user interaction would you require and what kind of validation would you need? So I had to design that on, on, a, on a board. Um, no, no coding, just, just talk them through my thought process. Mm. Um, so um, I, I did really well on that question because I, you know, I said, um, you know, like, you know, so because I've worked for when you onboard a new customer, like, for example, if I went to join a big uh, company and they're going to give me a laptop and a phone, the first thing they will do is uh, they will, you know, they will register the phone. They'll put a serial number on it. They'll know which network it's attached to. So, you know, those kind of like input fields. So if they were going to dispatch a phone, then they would select phone from the drop down box and then it would open up the UI for the phone to enter the details. If it was a laptop, it'd be a different UI because it's different fields. Um, and then, um, and then, you know, I went on to like, you know, like which company, which career company would they use to dispatch? So again, if they know the company, they can select it from the drop-down box. It will populate it. So we'll make an API call to the back end and bring the data in, you know, um, and then use validation for making sure like, you know, uh, postcode validation. So, in, in, but the reason why I didn't get the job was because I'm not experienced enough. Yeah. So this question that you have been asked, this is not a fresher question. This is not for a journey level developer. This is a question for an experienced one and someone who has developed a lot of applications. Some four or five years of experience people will be uh, like will answer this question. Okay. So as a front end developer for a junior position, even for a senior position, like you are not supposed to think how many input fields will be there, like how the application design will be. You can think it is not prohibited that you cannot think, but that will come only if you have uh, like if you have developed something similar to that. Only after you can. Of only after that you can imagine that but from the uh, like first time uh, it is not your job even in the companies that will be UI there will be UI developers uh, not your developers UI designers they will design how the application is going to look like how many input fields will be there how many buttons will be there what will be the color how drop down will look like so all the UI will be written not written, uh, designed. All the UI will be designed in the Figma. And once you see the UI as a developer, you can understand or anyone can understand, like if there is some name field, there is some phone number field, there is some password field. So that is obvious that you need to take those inputs. You need to create those input fields, right? So uh, as a front-end developer, you will get a Figma design and you have to implement it. You will be told like, how this application is sup uh, supposed to work, like how this application is supposed to work, that also will be told by the product team. Product managers will be there in the company. So they will tell me, this is how our application will work. And uh, then you ha have to implement all the functionality. So yes, you will have to understand how the application is going to work as a whole uh, first. But that will be explained by the product, uh, like uh, product developer, uh, product manager. So, uh, like every interview will not ask that kind of question. It can depend from company to company. They may ask some uh, uh, weird questions, but mostly for your uh, for your experience, what they should ask and what they will ask if you go to the right company. They will ask you JavaScript. Okay. They will ask you what are promises, what are scope, what is callback queue, what is event loop. These things they will ask you. And in React, they will ask what is state, what is useref, 
what is something like uh, how will do you do uh, routing in react so they will ask technical questions which you can explain by coding which you can explain in some uh, lines so these kinds of questions are uh, are supposed to ask to a junior or even mid level developer the question that you have been asked is for a senior developer so it is not that only that kind of question will be asked to senior developer that will be the first round for the senior developer of, uh, obviously they will ask some coding questions without uh, coding questions um, no one is going to pass the interview but that is kind of architecture how you will de design the application and a junior developer who is just starting out cannot answer that no. so, uh, no. <laughs> i found it really funny when you said to me like when you were asking me the questions i was just like and i have no idea but i'm just gonna just draw uh, whatever uh, but, um, so, yeah so i think it was like a like a startup company as well because it was like a startup company they require yes somebody who, but it was angular as well i have no i i said to them listen i don't understand angular at all yeah. i only know react and javascript but they were like no problem you come to the interview <laughs> so yeah. i went yeah so in the new in the startups they expect you to do everything right uh, <laughs> the team is not very big so you will have to think you will have to tell it, it is a lot of work so they will uh prefer to hire some someone who can do everything and only someone who is experienced can do everything right uh, so you cannot think you don't worry that you are not able to answer that is like now if they ask me the same question i can think like i can draw something if i understand the problem exactly i, I will tell like this is how it, it is going to be now i can do because i have worked for 2 3 years and i have developed enough application so i have little bit of idea and that you will also get uh, once you work for 2 3 years in the industry and once you develop enough application then you will be able to think how the application will be architecture how many components you will have to create everything you will understand initially you will not understand you will be given a small problem and you have to implement that so mostly the in the interview they should ask only in the technical things only css javascript html and just keep going for interviews other uh, like someday we'll get the right interview yeah hopefully hopefully yeah. oh no thank you for that that's really good thank you yes yeah, सही है चलो अभी और लोग से बात करते हैं ना फिर तुम भी और कोई भी डाउट हो तो पूछ सकते हो सपने तुम कुछ बोलने जा रहे थे यस सर आई हैड सेम क्वेश्चन लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम व्हाट हैपेंस आई नो द कांसेप्ट बिहाइंड कोड लाइक हाउ इट वर्क्स एंड व्हाट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ कोड बट यू नो सम टाइम आई फॉरगॉट फॉरगेट डेफिनेशन ऑफ दैट थिंग so is it okay that is I, not i know okay. i can explain that yeah definition you don't need to memorize it like it is written in the mdn or something you don't need to memorize it but you should be able to explain it to the interviewer and in english because so interview really well. that's good definition is not important explaining how you put things into word and yeah. make sure that you don't miss anything which is written in the definition because definition in the definition all the words are uh, chosen very specifically like every word has some meaning yeah so whenever you explain something don't miss anything explain it completely properly okay so yeah ha uh, and it does also doesn't sound good if you just remember the like memorize the application not application definition if you just memorize the definition and just speak it out it doesn't look good it looks like you have memorized something when you are speaking so sir as you know our mother tongue is like marathi hindi so mm. uh, i can explain in english but what happens i speak little bit slow uh, in english because 
sometimes i don't get words directly into my mind huh. so it could it's be fine. Yeah, it's fine it will happen over the period of time like, as you keep speaking right now that you are speaking with me your english is very good uh, aj you can confirm that right yeah definitely yeah it's very good there is no problem for me understanding all the grammar is correct everything is correct pace is also correct it is not very slow but yeah sometimes it will happen that you will want to say something but that word will not come how to say that for that you can speak one sentence in hindi yeah and then I, again come actually back. Uh, yeah so for that for that word you can say that sentence in hindi and again come back in english so you can jump between the languages okay it is not completely mandatory to speak english until and unless uh, your interviewer is a british and he doesn't understand in the like age or even like you know him um, you know um because you're bilingual um it it stands out more to an employer because like uh, you know like um because most british people can't speak more than one one language like 90% of english people can only speak one language <laughs> that is just english they can't speak any other language mm. so when you speak like like for example if you you know my my tip would be um, is that if somebody if you are explaining something and you can't like fully you know you can't fully think it you know just take a pause and just say sorry i know in hindi but i just can't explain it in english and then go back to it because that way then at least then they understand that you know what you're talking about uh, and just like by said then just then about um, mm. you know it's uh, say in hindi and it's not in english then just say i know in in hindi but you know i'll i'll come back to you in english and then just move on yeah so that's okay yeah that's good like if you get stuck you can just say that you like Um, you are not getting this word in english but you know in hindi you can tell that sentence in hindi itself mm-hmm. and then okay, you so can switch between the languages it's not the problem and being bilingual uh, it it is a good thing i think because <clears throat> if someone is able to speak a different language than the mother tongue that means he has then done the effort like for us for hindi people to speak english we have to do lot of hard work lot of things we have to practice a lot so it shows that this person if he is able to speak english who is whose mother tongue is not english not because english is something superior and good but because english is a different foreign language to him and he has put the hard work to learn that that means he is hard working he can once he commit something he can learn right and so this uh, this will uh, this is why in india if you know english you will be treated like you are something very intelligent but it is not that means if you know english that means you have uh, put the hard work to learn, uh, to learn english if you are if your mother tongue is hindi agar tumhari mother tongue hindi hai theek hai aur tum english seekh jate ho तो इस बात के लिए तुम्हें बहुत ऊपर नहीं जैसे किसी को इंग्लिश आती है तो बहुत मना आता है बहुत अच्छा है ये है ना तो इंग्लिश आना इंग्लिश तो लैंग्वेज है जो ब्रिटिश है उसको तो ऑटोमेटिकली अमेरिकन है उसको तो ऑटोमेटिकली आएगी तो एक ब्रिटिश के लिए इंग्लिश आना बड़ी बात नहीं है लेकिन एक इंडियन के लिए जो हिंदी है या एक कोई दूसरे भाषा का जो बंदा है उसको इंग्लिश आना वो बड़ी बात है बिकॉज उसने मेहनत किया है तो दैट that first thing that uh, shows that this person is hard working so usse ek signal jata hai ki agar ye english seekh sakta hai to koi dusra bhi cheez seekh sakta hai iska matlab wo intelligent hai matlab kuch bhi seekh sakta hai mehnat karoge to kuch bhi seekh sakte ho so english indirectly shows indirectly shows that this person is hard working and he can learn development he can do coding he can work also but uh, same cannot be said for a american or for a british person because for them they have not done any hard work to learn that they have gotten it by default from the birth right yes so so true what is that but if you know some other language 
let's say if you know spanish that means you have put put in the hard work to learn spanish and you have been yes. consistent in order to learn spanish so that will tell that you have the spirit to learn something new so yes sir correct and uh, most of the time sir what happens when we speak in english it increases our uh, confidence 10x <laughs> i would say uh, yeah yes because you know, all the like in the companies and everywhere they speak english and if you speak english you will not feel left out you will be the part of the uh, the company right so yeah seeko एजे के साथ प्रैक्टिस करो और नए चीजें डेवलपमेंट में भी वट एवर यू टॉक लाइक वट एवर यू बोथ टॉक जस्ट टॉक इन इंग्लिश ठीक है तो सही और डेवलपमेंट के बारे में बहुत कुछ बात कर सकते हो उसमें कुछ भी नया तुम बताओ कुछ नया वो बताए है इट वी ग्रेट फॉर बोथ पर्सन सही है और गौरव तुम बताओ बी क्लियर एंड इंग्लिश विल बी मोर हाँ या या फ्लुएंट इंग्लिश एज वेल एज इन कोडिंग या सही है चलो गौरव से बात कर लेते हैं गौरव और बताओ गौरव तुम्हारा क्या हाल है यस सर बढ़िया सर बढ़िया सही है इंटर्नशिप तुमने ज्वाइन किया अभी एक भी दिन गया कि अभी नहीं गया मंडे नहीं अच्छा। नहीं कल से अच्छा yeah. मैंने बोल दिया था मतलब वो लोग तो बोल रहे थे उस दिन इससे ज्वाइन करने लेकिन फिर मैंने बोला कि ऑन मंडे ऑनवर्ड्स फिर उन्होंने फिर वो बोला ठीक है सही है फर्स्ट ईयर पता नहीं क्या कैसा भी रहेगा <laughs> सही रहेगा बहुत हेल्प अच्छी कंपनी रहती है तो सब हेल्प करते बहुत ज्यादातर कंपनी सब अच्छे से स्वागत करते हैं बताएंगे अब आरती नहीं उतारेंगे ठीक है <laughs> लेकिन हेल्प करते हैं डू यू अंडरस्टैंड आइया व्हाट डज इट मीन आरती आरती उतारना आरती आरती उतारना इज लाइक ए लाइक ए ब्लेसिंग या यू कैन थिंक लाइक दैट यू कैन से लाइक दैट Arti utarna you have seen in Bollywood movies when while doing puja to the god they will have one plate and there will be some flame and they will do round round, round like this. Yeah. That yeah. maybe that ritual is called arti. See, I, but you know the the you know that ritual, the arti utarna is that like is that mm. like to ward off evil or is it to ward off or is it like a blessing or is it? it, a... it yeah, it can be both. Like. Originally, it is because yeah. the term "arti utarna" means like remove, use light to remove something. That's how I read it. Uh, arti uh, utarna, like utarna uh, means like move it away. Arti utarna, like it is. If you go into the words, it doesn't mean as uh, the words say, because utarna oh. means to remove. So Have we don't. Seen? Uh, prayer uh, indian prayer in the indian prayer like God. in the uh, there is one special kind of act that we perform and like there will be one flame and that flame will do round round in front of the god so that thing is called doing aarti we are doing aarti or hum log aarti utar rahe hain aisa uh, bol sakte hain lekin आरती उतारना इट इफ यू आर स्कोल्डिंग समवन इट कैन बी नेगेटिव आल्सो लाइक जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल आओ अभी तुम्हारी आरती उतारते हैं ठीक है दैट मींस दैट्स लाइक हां जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इट्स लाइक it's like a uh, being s- s- not cynical but you know it's like a it's like a, you know you use the word blaze to, you know when Fun. you're taking it's like when you're joking with somebody uh, but in a in a 
like I can't explain it in English. Um, in English, we call it um, being um, being um, thingy, being um, not cynical. Um, what's that word called? Um, mm. uh, we we use it in a joking way. Yeah, um, we call it, it taking the. Piece. Yeah, yeah, it can be joke also. Like when when let's say if some kid is roaming around for a long time, he's he doesn't come to house like. In Indian, uh, Indian, uh, like households, I'm telling this situation. Let's say if there is like a we can tone. say in sarcastic tone. Ah, sarcastic. Yeah, sarcastic. 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 Yeah, sarcastic yeah, tone. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So mother say uh, when kid is uh, not in the house for a long time, is out. So mother say like. How oh, with Mari Arti Utarta? That means you'll get beaten if you come. <laughs> that means. <laughs> uh, so that is sarcastic. Yeah, that, that word is correct. <laughs> you are thinking of that sarca sarcastic word, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it can be sarcastic also. So that's what I, I told him. Like, if you go to the first day, you will be welcomed, but tumhari aarti nahi utarenge. That means <laughs> they will not do like this, that like you are like God is coming and we need to welcome like that. <laughs> not like that, you will be welcome, but yeah, you will be welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can understand something like joke. Yeah, he understands. It is... huh. Yeah, we can understand it like a joke. In this case, it was joke. It can be joke. It can be can be sarcasm, and it can be uh, it can be savage. Also. Savage. savage. It can yeah. be uh, it can be we, positive we also. Another, it can be positive. One called, we use another term called honeymoon period. Jab no. honeymoon period when the honeymoon period is over, then you understand. You know, like Achha. it's like. They, they use that in the UK. They use, again, you know, it's like another, it's another sarcastic term oh. when you, you know, like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's I just going to be period now. Yeah, that means when you face the real world, you will understand. But I do love um, the Hindi language. It's like some words can mean so many different things, or like one one way of explaining something can mean uh, different things in different ways. So, yeah, and do you understand Bangla? Bangla, uh, Bengali? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. When your parents came to UK, uh, my parents came in the like my whole my whole. My full family's father's side, mother's side, uncles, everyone in the UK. They came in like the 60s. Okay. Sorry, old. Since 70 years. Like, no. 60 and like 50 years. 50 years, yes. Oh, nice. Hey, as to English ki baat ho bhi, or English mein baat ho bhi. Dekho, kitne log dekhte hain isko. Most of uh, my audience is in, I watch this Hindi. Amit, uh, Amit, tumhe kitna samaj aara hai, tumhe aara hai kuch kuch samaj. Meri baat samaj aara hai ki nahi? Yes, sir. Aa rahi hai? Sir, sir. Sir, Are English you? understand कर लेता हूँ। अच्छा। Speaking में problem होता है। अच्छा। ठीक है, understand अगर कर ले तो understand हो जाता है, तो बहुत अच्छी बात है। थोड़ा practice करो, बोलने की कोशिश करो, अपने मन में ही बोलो, कुछ भी सोचो उसको अपने मन में बोलो, हो जाएगा English। सही। सही है फिर। और सर सर एक लिंक शेयर किया अच्छा ठीक है 
देखो देखते हैं मैं स्क्रीन शेयर करता हूँ इसको जरा देखिए ठीक है बताओ इसमें क्या करना है इसमें मैं स्क्रीन देख रही है अमित सर नेटवर्क साउंड अच्छा। नहीं आ रहा है अच्छा अभी अभी कैसा है अभी आ रहा है साउंड क्या करना है इसमें एक बार बता देते तो मैं करता साउंड ही नहीं आ रहा है गौरव तुम्हें आ रही है मेरी आवाज और लग रहा है आ रही है तुम्हारे में नेटवर्क का इशू है तुम बस बता दो तुम बाद में देख लेना रिकॉर्डिंग देख लेना इसकी तुम बता दो तुम्हारी क्योंकि जब बोल रहे हो नेटवर्क नहीं है नेटवर्क इशू है तो उतना समय ही पड़ रहा है अच्छा अब अब सर जा रहा है आवाज हाँ तुम्हारी अभी आ रही है बोलो हेलो हाँ आ रही आ रही हाँ बोल रहे हैं कि उसको उसको क्लोन करने के थोड़ा सा ट्राई कर रहा था उसमें बस वही सजेशन एक एक थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है कि जो इमेज है थोड़ा सा एडजस्ट नहीं हो पा रहा है मुझसे जो एक्चुअल एक्चुअल वेबसाइट है उ, उसके जैसा थोड़ा सा कट हो जा रहा है मेरा इमेज हाँ मतलब ये लड़का हमेशा बीच में होना चाहिए है ना जैसे कि एक सेकेंड ये ऐसा बीच में होना चाहिए है ना और इसका गिटार भी कट रहा है यहाँ पे एक्चुअल वेबसाइट कैसे मिलेगी मुझे गूगल एडसेंस गूगल गूगल हाँ ये है एक्चुअल वेबसाइट ठीक है इसको अगर हम छोटा करते हैं तो वो सेंटर में ही रहता है लगभग मतलब उसका गिटार उटार नहीं कटता यहाँ पे ऐसा है ठीक है बन जाएगा इसमें देखो ये ठीक है ऐसे छोटा करते हैं तो ये रुक जा रही है तुम्हारी इमेज इसमें एक बार देखते हैं बैकग्राउंड इमेज की तरह अगर यूज किया होगा एच टी एम एच टी एम स्ट्रक्चर आप लिखने आ गया ना हाँ एच टी एम एल का स्ट्रक्चर टाइम वेस्ट ज्यादा लग रहा है हम्म मैं अभी देखता हूँ तुम्हारा एस्टीम पहले इसको टाइम ज्यादा लग रहा है इसमें कोई बात नहीं टाइम तो लगेगा ही धीरे धीरे अपने आप सही हो जाएगा टाइम तुम बनाते जाओ कई प्रोजेक्ट्स इसमें बैकग्राउंड हाँ बोलो बैकग्राउंड पोजीशन अगर सेंटर कर दो इतना ही बनाने में मुझे कितना टाइम लगा इतना ही बनाने में छह आवर ठीक है ठीक है अभी के लिए छह आवर्स ठीक है इतना सिक्स आवर्स गड़बड़ नहीं है देखो यहाँ पे बस एक चीज करना है तो हमें बैकग्राउंड पोजीशन सेंटर दे देना है ये करने से क्या होगा जब तुम छोटा करोगे तो अभी क्या हो रहा है इमेज तुम्हारी कुछ ऐसे रह रही है ऐसे वो लड़का कट रहा है बैकग्राउंड पोजिशन अगर सेंटर कर दोगे तो ऐसा हो जाएगा कुछ ठीक है और हमेशा सेंटर में रहेगा और यहाँ पे अगर देखोगे तो यहाँ पे अगर देखते हो तो कहा गया ये तो है तुम्हारा वाला ये है असली गूगल गूगल की वेबसाइट इसमें जब छोटा होता है मोबाइल तो ये पूरा टेक्स्ट बाहर आ गया है टेक्स्ट बाहर आ गया और केवल फोटो फोटो बची है तो उसमें कुछ ऐसा दिख रहा है ठीक है तो 
शॉर्टकट होता है क्रोम वगैरह नहीं चलता क्या पे चलता है चलता है बिल्कुल चलता क्रोम भी है ये यहाँ पे क्रोम ये देखो अच्छा क्रोम में यूज नहीं करता हूँ क्रोम से अच्छा ही है ये लो यू आर एल भी दिखने लगा यहाँ पे हाँ दिख रहा है अभी अभी ये है एडचांस ये है नेटफ्लिक्स वाला एडचांस तो ठीक है बस ऐसे ही चाहिए कि और भी थोड़ा बहुत इधर उधर लेफ्ट राइट करना है सेंटर अगर पोजीशन कर देंगे तो हो जाएगा और एच टी एम एल का स्ट्रक्चर ये हो गया हेडर ये हो गया हीरो सेक्शन उसमें से ये हो गया डेव ये जो तुमने पैडिंग टॉप देके इसको यहाँ पे किया है ना ये सही तरीका नहीं है पैडिंग टॉप नहीं देना इस पर फ्लेक्स लगा के सेंटर करो ठीक है बाकी एच टी एम एल का स्ट्रक्चर तो ठीक लग रहा है यहाँ पे इसका देख लेते हैं ये क्या हो गया फिर ये है ठीक है इसका भी स्ट्रक्चर सही है यहाँ पे ये सही है ठीक है सही एच टी एम स्ट्रक्चर तुम्हारा सही है अमित तुम बाद में रिकॉर्डिंग देखना तो तुम्हें समझ आएगा गया क्या अमित अच्छा सुन रहे हो मेरी आवाज़ जा रही है अमित तुम्हें शायद नेटवर्क का इशू है तो ठीक है अमित तुम्हारा जो स्ट्रक्चर है एच टी का वो सही है बस उसमें बैकग्राउंड पोजिशन दे दो और थोड़ा बहुत एडजस्ट कर सकते हो बाकी ऐसे ही वहाँ पे भी है जो असली वेबसाइट है तो ठीक है अभी के लिए हम लोग रखते हैं ना मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट संडे को और ए जी तुमसे बात करके काफ़ी अच्छा लगा सही लगा and everybody else yeah um so yeah every sunday wo 330 or 330 hota hai na aapka yes yes ha aap dekh lo ek minute main dekh leta hu uk time mein kya hota hai same time jaise aaj join kiya na aise hi rehta hai 8 pm 8 pm in ist to uk time yeah 330 Sunday. Cool. Yeah. Uh, just what, one last question um, yeah. I have is um, it's more around like, Apna, uh, do you have any experience or like advice about uh, joining any sort of boot camp online? Like you know, no. from no. No, I have not done any boot camp. From where I learned is, you know, Udemy. Udemy. dot com. Yeah. So from there, I I learned there is one Angela U course. Angela U, do you know British? She is a British uh, British teacher. So she has a course on on Udemy. So from there, I learned. But that is not enough to get you a job. You need to learn a lot from other places also. but that is a very good foundation thing for a uh, someone who who doesn't have college degree or who doesn't know anything about development or coding she has taught very well so uh from there i learned but there is one better course than this one that i would recommend that is by colt steel so from angela use course and from colt steel course 
both courses i have watched and this is my boot camp this experience i have just search. if you search just web development it will come just okay. search uh, yeah yeah the second one second Calls one yeah. yes so uh, right now it's price is only 2000 but uh, it its price original price is uh, 300 to 500 like whenever its price is normal it will be 300 to uh, 500 rupees and i think they want to push uh, their subscription that's why they have increased the prices and they have given on the start subscription button so uh, if you start subscription click on that it will be 750 per month or 800 per month uh, 800 okay. rupees in what is your currency in uk pound um, pound. pound pound yes so in pound you can check how much it is it affordable for him. It's not too much for them. Hmm. You can people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I think global prices are very increased everywhere now. Global crisis yeah. everywhere, bro. <laughs> global oh, crisis, sorry. are you saying? Yeah, global crisis everywhere now. Yeah. Financial crisis, global crisis, you name it. Yeah, but uh, it's not too much. Deals. Sorry, what was that? Can afford it. I said you can afford it easily because you are uh, you are British. That's why you can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he, if he is living there, then easily he can afford. Yeah. 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 So uh, offline bootcamp, I don't have any experience. I have learned online everything. No, thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Yeah. It okay. can be a little bit expensive for us Indian people. Maybe their pricing is more. No, I think it's like, I, I think, you know, the, you know, it's the same price, you know, you know, this converted um, 3,199 um, that converts to about um, $38, $39. Uh, so I, th I think it's like the the same exchange rates is the same. Yeah, exchange yeah. rate is the same. But but like, you know, but what like what you can do is what I would say is to take the subscription. Uh, and if you take subscription, you can watch any course. A like, lot of courses are available under subscription. Ah, okay. That will be okay. that will be cheaper monthly. But you have to watch in like. Uh, like you cannot keep it paying forever once you watch and then you can stop the subscription yeah it's paying like less than ten dollars i think per month starting from less than ten dollars ten dollars okay okay everyone uh it's very so nice to talk to you all and yes, you know, it's yeah, very sunday nice milton 3 30 uk time Yes, yes, brilliant. Thank you. Chal, bye. Sir, yeah. Achha, you have a question, Sapnil. Tell me, if you are busy, then you will ask next time. What question is it? Ask me a question. The question is just a little bit. It's over in two minutes. Look, as I made a response unit, this is what happened. This is what happened in the response unit. Okay? But the thing is, look, here is what happened. Everything is going on. But where is this? नीचे कर रहा हूं मैं मतलब 1200 के नीचे तो मैं फ्लेक्स डायरेक्शन कॉलम कर दिया ये नीचे तो आ गया लेकिन सर ये बहुत बड़ा दिख रहा है तो इसको इतना ही रखूं या फिर क्या करूं मैं छोटा करूं इसको इसको छोटा कर दो छोटा कर दो थोड़ा और छोटा करके सेंटर में कर दो छोटा करके देखो कैसा लगता है मैं देखा था सर वो लेकिन अच्छा नहीं लगा तो ऐसा ही रहने दो इतना बड़ा कौन सा किसका डिवाइस डिवाइस भी तो नहीं होता है ऐसा कोई टैबलेट सी होते होंगे कोई छोटा करके सेंटर में करना पड़ेगा सर देखो 
लेकिन अच्छा नहीं लगेगा जितना सही ये लग रहा है उतना अच्छा नहीं लगेगा रहने दो ऐसे अभी मैं को तो देखो एआई से तो छोटा कर लेंगे हम लेकिन थोड़ा गड़बड़ दिखेगा ना इधर इतना पैडिंग ज्यादा कम इधर ज्यादा होगा इधर कम होगा सही नहीं है हां सही नहीं है हां उस हिसाब से देखेंगे तो नहीं सही है फुल रहने दो देखेंगे ना सर तो वो बहुत से वेबसाइट में ऐसा ही बड़ा बड़ा ही दिखता है बहुत कुछ चीजें ऐसे बड़े ही रहते हैं हाँ, इस वाले विद मतलब इस वाले ब्रेक पॉइंट पे बाकी छोटे हाँ, में जैसे करेंगे तो सही आ रहा है कुछ ऑटोमेटिक सही हो जाएगा वो हां एकदम परफेक्ट है ये इधर में हां यहां पे पैडिंग थोड़ी सी ज्यादा है इस पे वहां पे ऊपर वाला जो स्पेशल करके है ना वहां पे पैडिंग हटा दो उसके साइड से पैडिंग करना करना वाला ऊपर नीचे सब जगह से पैडिंग थोड़ा काम बाकी है मोबाइल व्यू का थोड़ा सा बाकी है वो अभी करूंगा मैं टैबलेट का कर कर दिया अभी थोड़ी देर पहले सही है ठीक है फिर तो सही था ना ठीक है यार हां सर यही था ठीक है चलो बाय एवरीवन ठीक है बाय बाय बाय